Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. It's raining outside. It's raining, raining cats and dogs. That's my garden. My garden is full of cats and dogs. Uh, so I've come into the garage and I'm wearing the cap. What does the cap signify? If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you will know that the cap signifies a cap, but your bottom signifies an unboxing. And if you are a recent viewer to the channel, you'll probably also know that because I did a couple of uh, videos not that long ago, which were unboxings or unpackagings. Anyway, unboxing the jewels. What do we have here? As some of you will know, I have arranged to do Le Jog, Land's End to John O'Groats, towards the end of August. And so I have various decisions to make, which bike to take, which wheels to take, which tyres to take, which socks to take which underpants to take all will be revealed in my various videos. But one of the other things I have to decide is what shoes to take. Now on my Fairlight Seacan, which is my gravel bike, my steel gravel bike, which I might be using, haven't quite decided yet, I have mountain bike pedals. And you will know mountain bike pedals are these Shimano uh, SPD, they're called pedals. And they allow you to wear a pair of shoes, which means you can also walk in them. And although I don't plan to do a lot of walking on the Land's End to Johnny Groats route, uh, there are times when you stop, take pictures, maybe walk across some uh, rough ground, whatever it is, go into a cafe. And uh, walking shoes, or rather well, SPD type shoes, tend to be a lot easier to use than uh, the road type of clickety clack shoes, which you're all familiar with, and which I may still decide to use, but I haven't quite decided. So, anyway. I thought it was time to treat myself to a new pair of shoes. Now, some of you will know, uh, again, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, that I am a little bit partial to shoes. I am known as the Imelda Marcos of the cycle shoe of West Wickham. Uh, because Imelda Marcos, a very keen cyclist, had a big collection of cycling shoes, and I quite like my shoes as well. So, these ones, what have I got? Well, let's just undo the box. First of all, well, let's undo the packaging and let us reveal the box. What's in the box? What is in Julian's box? Yes! Can you see it says Quok? Now, I thought these were the shoes that lots of people called Crocs. And you say to me, well, what do you wear around the house? And they say, I like my Crocs. I thought, oh. That, you know, um, croc, C-R-O-C, which is obviously short for crocodile because they are fashioned out of organically and uh, ethically produced uh, crocodile skin, uh, the crocs. And that's what I thought I was getting. But obviously, uh, when I typed it into uh, Google, I got it a bit wrong because what I ended up with was croc, Q-U-O-C. Now, these shoes get pretty good reviews, so let us... Let us open the box, let us reveal the contents and see what we've got. Excuse me, it's packaging, isn't it? What does this say? It's a piece of paper. I'm going to read this to you. It says, we are pleased that you have chosen our shoes for your adventures. We are sure you'll enjoy this lovely pair as we have enjoyed making them. Happy riding, Quok. I have a feeling that Quok is an actual person. And the person who originally produced and designed the shoes, unlike Crocs, uh, which were not, I think, produced by somebody called Croc, unless it's the same Ray Croc, who I think founded McDonald's, who was also a keen cyclist. But let's let's get on with this. Get on with it, Julian. And what shoes are they? Um, you'll want to know. Sorry, and I haven't told you. They are the. Oh, there's this little packet of, uh, uh, these aren't Haribo, right? Before you think, I did not buy these from Wiggle or Chain Reaction, so this is not a little packet of uh, children's uh, highly sugar-infused sweets. This is a pack of silica gel, and silica gel should not be eaten. It is designed to absorb moisture. So if I squeeze it, squeeze it really tightly, a lot of moisture will come out, which was absorbed into the silica gel. These shoes are, I believe, called the Grand Tour, and they are a gravel shoe, as if you need a specific shoe for gravel riding. Who'd I thunk it? Um, but they are SPD 
fitment shoes. In other words, they have the two bolt cleat there. And the first thing I notice about these, actually just taking them out of the box, is they are pretty light. Now this shoe, which I showed you earlier, which is a Shimano SPD shoe, which is actually pretty comfortable. Um, weight wise, um, feels quite a bit heavier. Now, it's difficult to judge and my, my arms are not uh, accurately calibrated as a set of scales. But uh, anyway, that's the first thing that strikes you, that they are quite light. Uh, the second thing that strikes you is it's got a pretty, sorry, I'm banging the table there, which is shaking the camera, which is probably obscuring your uh, view. They've got quite a, uh, a pronounced Pronounced knobs. Yes, you always like your pronounced knobs. Uh, you could pronounce it a knob, I suppose, but I pronounce it knob. So there are pronounced knobs on the shoes, and these are what would help your walking. So I guess they call them gravel shoes because they think you might do quite a lot of uh, walking on gravel. Just trying to read what this says here. It says gravel grip probably can't see that because it's trying to focus on my face so if I cover up my face well you probably still can still can't see it because it's black writing on a black background very difficult to read uh, it says quok there not sure if you can see that and it says quok there not sure if you can see that and these are what they call green camo camo I believe being short for camouflage and that is the uh, specific color of these shoes. You can get them in a rather kind of fetching um, pink, pink fade along the bottom. Uh, and my friend John, who is quite a big, uh, uh, he's quite a fashion icon, is John. He said I should get the pink, but I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't comfortable rocking the pink gravel. So I went for the the understated but still quite attractive green camo. You will also notice those observant among you, that it is a lace closure system. It's not Velcro, it's not a boa wheel, a boa constrictor type wheel that you use to tighten up wires that uh, then encircle your foot or close your foot. Uh, this is a lace system and that, uh, I do have some other shoes with uh, laces and um, it does make a nice secure feeling on your foot. So, I'll take this other shoe out. Uh, my wife says it's bad luck to put shoes onto a table, but the way my life is going at the moment, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all. So that's why I'm not worried about putting my shoes on the table. But you should notice that uh, if uh, uh, any old wives amongst you, or if you, if you know an old wife, um, that is an old wife's tale that you shouldn't put shoes on the table because it will produce bad luck. I have... Um, it's difficult at the moment for me to tell whether a pair of shoes is entirely comfortable because I have a, a growth on my foot. I don't want to go into too much detail, but I'll go into a certain amount of detail. I think it's a corn. Um, you know, one of those uh, jolly green giant uh, sweet corn. I think it, it may be one of those. It may be a uh, maybe a corn cob. Uh, and in fact, sometimes feels when I've been on the bike for a while, as if I've got a corn cob uh, strapped to the fourth toe of my right foot, since you ask. Um, I am hoping to have my, uh, my foot problem uh, addressed, lanced, fixed, sorted, resolved, whatever it's called, um, by a chiropodist that I know who's come to see me in a couple of weeks and will hopefully uh, relieve me of my corn. Uh, she might choose to keep the corn because I read about uh, a place called the Cornucopia, uh, which is in West Virginia in the States and is a museum of corn. Some of the, some of the great corns uh, from history, Alexander the Great, he had a corn that, that's in the museum. Uh, Genghis Khan, uh, Leonardo, um, who else? Uh, Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens had quite a collection of, of corns. And there's also a special section devoted to corny jokes and uh, the Cornish pasty, which is uh, a famous uh, English uh, dish, which is a, a, a kind of pie made of made of corn, uh, sweet corn, not not foot corns. That that would be uh, rather unpleasant. So I'm not going to remove my sock and show you my corn because I don't think you've uh, 
Um, I think you've probably suffered enough, but I will put this shoe on. So I'm just going to pause the camera for a moment. Don't go away. Somebody complained about my recent video and said it was too long. Um, and that reminds me, have you seen, have you seen Amadeus when he, um, he produces his first opera and he goes to see the king and the, and the king said it, it, it's too long and, and Mozart says, what's the problem? The king says, too many notes. And Mozart said, which notes do you suggest I remove, sire? So if those people who think my videos are too long, leave a comment down below and tell me which bits you think I should leave out. Maybe you think I should leave out the whole bloody video and then some of you will be happy. But watch on, as they say, watch on. Uh, welcome back. Uh, well, I've put the shoe on and I went by the uh, sizing profile on the Quok uh, website and they show you how to how to measure your foot and then you relate that to a table and it tells you what size uh, shoe you should have. I, I looked at it and it said it was a small, size smaller than I'm normally used to. So I went for what I'm normally used to. And I've got to say they feel, I'm, I'm leaning back now, so I may well, I may well fall over and break my stupid neck. But I've got to say they feel, they feel nice, but they feel a little bit tight. So they only do uh, half sizes but they only do half whole sizes if that makes sense so you would go from a nine and a half UK to a ten and a half UK you wouldn't go to a a ten so they don't do half sizes in that sense my concern would be that the ten and a half UK would be too large because my normal shoe size is a uh, nine and a half or as whoops and people in Europe say, of course, we don't say that anymore because we're not Europeans. Uh, the Europeans call that a 43 and a half, which suggests, I suppose, that the next size up would then be a 44 and a half. And I don't take 44 and a half in my cycle shoes generally. So they feel um, initially, I'm just lifting my foot up there so you can see. I don't know how well you can, you can see that. And I don't think I can contort myself I did, I did have a job shortly after I left university for a couple of months uh, as a contortionist but uh, I wasn't very good at it and got uh, and got fired and you can probably see why because I can't contort myself into a position that allows you to see I'm spinning around on my stool here and if I fall off I'm going to be in deep doo-doo and won't be able to do the, the jog but there you are. I think you'll you agree that there are... Oh, no, no, I'm going over. No, I'm going over. Oh, no, I've, I've recovered myself. It's all right. Thanks for asking. Uh, what one doesn't want to do, of course, is uh, a long ride like Le Jog in a new pair of shoes. So I bought these a couple of months before I'm due to go, which means I can get used to them, ride them in, um, test them. And if I decide, of course, they're, they're too small now before I've gone out riding in them because I can't return them once I've ridden in them, then, of course, I would return them and, and either go for a larger size or, or decide that the quacks, the quacks are not for me um, because they don't fit properly. But I do think, I think they're a nice shoe. Let me say that. Uh, I think they're a nice kind of feeling shoe. They feel solid. Uh, they're supposed to be pretty, pretty waterproof on the bottom and they're supposed to have some kind of um, uh, something there that prevents the ingress, uh, ingress, that's a good word, uh, a girl at my school called ingress, um, ingress of water through the uh, cleat holes there. So I will be, I'll, I'll continue to wear them for a little bit, uh, decide what I like, so I won't ride them on the bike just yet. Uh, when I do ride them on the bike, I'll tell you what they're like, but I mean, they're not really gonna be any different, are they? I mean, shoes that you wear on your feet, are the same if you're walking as when you're riding the bike. So they, they feel relatively stiff in the sole, but I need to decide on the sizing. So there you are, a uh, fairly long but brief introduction to the Quok Q-U-O-C Grand Tour. Uh, yes, Grand Tour, gravel Grand Tour in green camo. And they're about 200 quid, so they're not cheap. Um, but then a decent pair of shoes never is, as my... Imelda Marcos always used to say. So, hope you've enjoyed that overlong video. And if my friend is watching, yes, I'm sorry, it's too long. I wish I knew what to cut out. But thanks for watching and see you next time. Uh, hello, hope you haven't gone away 
just yet. Slight postscript. What I hadn't realised, uh, and when I when I switched off the, the camera, I put the left hand shoe on, and I tried to. They have this system of laces here. I don't know if you can hear see. There is a kind of double lock lace system, and what I did was loosened that uh, double lock lace uh, lace system down here, and the shoe fits. Uh, rather better. I don't feel that same tightness. So uh, I'm still going to be practicing on them um, but perhaps I should have explained that uh, lacing system a little bit clearer uh, before when I said those shoes were too tight because maybe maybe they're not too tight. So it's important that you uh, note all these various things. One thing uh, also to note is there are some very tiny perforations on here. I don't know if you can see that. They're like pinpricks. They are really small perforations. And what that means, of course, is that it uh, will reduce uh, any water ingress if you're in heavy rain or puddles. But it could also mean uh, that sweat is less easy uh, uh, released from the shoe uh, and therefore your feet might get a little bit sweaty. And I think it's something that uh, people have mentioned in the reviews. But in terms of a nice looking shoe that's a nice color uh, that feels quite comfortable, if I've addressed the lacing pop, uh, system properly, uh, the quok. Grand Tour Gravel Shoes. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I know I said that before, but I'm going to say it again. See you next time.